You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Well, guys, we're going to be talking about ESPN and the USWNT. Yes, that is Megan Rapino's team, the U.S. women's soccer team, guys. Now, when it comes to the most unlikable athletes, I believe that Megan Rapino is probably right up there at the top. She is the most woke of the woke. I mean, she just puts LeBron James into the tank when it comes to wokeness. Now, Megan Rapino has been out there advocating for biological men to actually come into women's sports and quite a few other people on the USWNT's team. Now, they should know firsthand. They shouldn't want any men in their sport. Why? Because when it came to this professional team, and they are professionals, they played against, um, was it 15-year-old high school boys, not professionals? They got beat. They lost like 5-1 to one in an exhibition to boys, not even grown men. But yet they're out there advocating for men to come over in the women's sports. I mean, these women are out of their mind. But also, guys, they also complained about equal pay. Now, the U.S. men, their soccer team actually makes more money. Why? Because they are more in demand than the women. And it's absolutely disgusting, guys, that these women are so woke. They actually sued to get the same payment as the men. So whatever the men get, the women now get half of that payment, guys. And that's so crazy because that's kind of like the NBA giving half of all of their revenue to the WNBA. It makes no sense whatsoever. But that is what's happened over there in uh, professional soccer now, guys. Well, that brings us to ESPN because the ESPYs are coming up. And guess who's going to win are going to be honored with. The Arthur Ashe Courage Award. You guessed it, guys. Megan Rapino and the U.S. WNT. They do not deserve this award, guys. But this is ESPN. So I'm not surprised. Remember, they actually gave up uh, Bruce Jenner when he actually came out as Caitlyn Jenner. Yeah, they honored that person with a Courage Award for what? Just for identifying as a um as a woman. Nothing more had nothing to do with. You know, actual sports, because when it came to sports, Bruce Jenner at that time was actually irrelevant. I don't believe anybody was talking about Bruce Jenner in sports in a few decades anyway. But look here on OutKick. ESPN to award USWNT Arthur Ashe Courage Award at ESPYs for equal pay fight despite team pushing for men to play women's sports. Yeah. What kind of courage is that, guys? They're not actually encouraging, you know, young girls to actually go out there and perform at a high level in sports. You know, it's kind of funny, man, that these uh, woke feminists, they're always talking about, hey, we don't need no men. But yet they want to steal the money of men in their own sports. Think about that, guys. The USWNT, they have nothing to do with the, uh, the men's World Cup. But guess what happened? Look at this, guys. This is from um, November of last year. The United States women's national team earns more money from men's World Cup than its previous two women's tournaments. Yeah, because the men advanced. And guess what? They had to give half of their winnings to the women. Why? Quote unquote, equal pay. The women, they didn't earn a single dime because they didn't participate in a men's World Cup. This is just insulting, guys. Like I said, this is the equivalent here of the NBA giving the WNBA half of their earnings. This is crazy. And now ESPN is actually going to honor this team right here who has been pretty divisive. And this team also disrespects our national anthem at the um, Olympics. All these players were actually kneeling for the national anthem. But yet ESPN is going to give them an SB for courage. When they are anti-American. And by the way, guys, before I forget, you want to know who actually deserves this Courage Award? It actually should be Riley Gaines. Riley Gaines has been at the forefront of actually trying to protect women's sports. She's been out there putting her career on hold to actually spread the message that, um, hey, 
Him biological men and women's sports. Not good. Women have been injured. Riley Gaines was actually harassed and the mob came after her under police protection. They still went after her, locked her up in a room. But the people like Megan Rapino, they don't actually stick up for Riley Gaines. Even ESPN was actually singing the praises of Leah Thomas when it came to Women's History Month. They don't even show Riley Gaines. ESPN, they have not actually went out there and even offered to interview Riley Gaines. When it actually came to like Nike, you know, they actually um, used Dylan Mulvaney, did a campaign with Dylan Mulvaney, a biological male. Nothing for Riley Gaines. Riley Gaines, to me, should have won this uh, SP award for courage. But of course, we know ESPN was not going for that because ESPN is a woke joke. Let's read a little bit of this, guys. In a somewhat comical twist of fate, ESPN is honoring the U.S. Women's National Team with the Arthur Ashe Courage Award at this year's ESPY Awards. And nobody actually watches the ESPYs, by the way. It's nothing more than woke propaganda. The irony, of course, is that the women of the national team fought to increase the pay in women's sports, but recently stars of the team like Megan Rapino voice support for biological men in women's sports. This is a bit of a be careful what you wish for situation for the USWNT. Yes, they successfully sued the uh, United States Soccer Federation on the basis that the women's team was underpaid compared to the men. Now, the thing is, they didn't generate the revenue that the men were getting. That is why the men get paid more. That is why in the NBA, the NBA gets paid. NBA players get paid way, 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 way more than the women because the women actually they run at a deficit. They lose money every single year. The NBA, even though they're not getting the same ratings they used to, they're generating billions of dollars in revenue. If I'm not mistaken, I believe that that the WNBA only generates about what? 30 million for the whole league, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's that bad. But it goes on here, it says now the players earn more money. But should uh, men decide to identify as women, they will take those spots away from the women who work to get that increase in pay. You know what should actually happen for the men that play soccer? You know what they should do? They should say for a whole season. Guess what? We're not going to compete. And guess what? That revenue for the women would dry up. The women would actually be on their own. You see, guys, these women, they need men. It's just that simple. They say they don't want men, but truly they do need men. They're jealous. They're jealous that men are actually generating more revenue. But when it comes to men, guess what? Men actually go out there and promote their sport, grow their sport. These women, all they do is complain. They complain about everything. They try to play a victim. And if you don't want to watch that sport, guess what? They want to call you a bigot. Not the way to grow your sport. And the thing is, guys, it's not men not watching that sport. Women aren't watching that sport. Do you realize, guys, that um, 75% of people that actually watch the WNBA is actually men? That's a fact. It's actually men. Men. Megan Rapino and her teammates who are fighting for men to play women's sports don't care. Why would they? They got what they wanted, more money. Yes, yeah, all about the dollar bills. And it does mention here that um, Megan Rapino, she's just about washed up there. And uh, so is uh, Alice Morgan here. Man, I really, really do despise Megan Rapino, man. She has done no favors whatsoever for women's sports. Actually, she's been advocating for the destruction of women's sports. She is at the forefront of that because she has been vocal about having biological men in women's sports. She doesn't care about all of the women that have been injured by biological men. It has happened. We talked about it here on this channel. But hey, it's a griff. It's all about playing the victim. And now they have free reign now to actually play the victim as much as they want now, because no matter how well the men's team actually does. The women, they're going to steal half of that money and they're going to get away with it, man. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and we'll catch you next time. 
Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.